How's it going team? Eddie Gray here. The 10 things you can do when Logic Pro is not working. Now, after about a year building the YouTube channel, it's come to my attention that most of the Logic users are falling into the same kinds of traps. In response to this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the 10 things that you can do when Logic Pro is not working. Some of these will be surprising. Some of these perhaps will be completely unknown to you as well. Before we get started, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to stay up to date with more Logic Pro content. As some of you know, I am the official proofreader of the GEM manuals for Logic, and I also do training for companies all over the world. All right, let's get right into it. Number one, if Logic Pro is not working, you should probably check your inputs and outputs. This may seem elementary, but this happens to new users and novices alike. I'm not only referring to the actual input of your audio channel strip, but I'm also referring to the inputs inside of your preferences. Now, as far as MIDI goes, if your MIDI controller is not transmitting MIDI data to Logic, then you might actually want to check the USB cable that's attached to it because it, it probably isn't working. If you have this connected to a USB hub, there may be times that the hub doesn't send the necessary MIDI to the DAW. So also check on that. You're going to want to pull that USB out of the USB hub and into the back of your computer, depending on which version of USB you have. Number two, if you have studied my Logic Pro system, then you know the importance of project alternatives. Every time you make a big change inside of your session, like change the key or a tempo, or maybe bounce to audio, you should be creating project alternatives just in case you need to perform recon with missing Logic info. So I don't know, maybe you did it and you forgot to go into file project alternatives and maybe you can backtrack this way. The third thing that you can do when Logic Pro isn't working is you can use a little kept secret. It's called project information reorganize memory. So you could find that inside of the key command window. It doesn't have a key command by default, so go ahead and add one. And this is gonna allow you to repair a corrupt session. Try using this and it may yield favorable results. Number four. If you know a certain plugin is messing up your workflow due to either compatibility issues or licensing issues, remove it from the components folder and that should get you back in the flow of things. You can find that file path here. So all you have to do is select it and delete it from this folder. So along the same vein, sometimes rescanning your plugins all from the start is probably the best thing that you can do. You can initiate this process by deleting your cache list. You can find details of this entire process in this video that's on the channel, so I won't waste any time here. Go look for that video now, and that should get you there as well. Number six, 10 things you can do when Logic Pro is not working you might want to consider importing projects into a blank session. It could very well save you. It definitely has covered me on a number of occasions. How do you do this? You open up a brand new session and then you commence importing the session data from the corrupt session into this new blank session. Go to file, import, and you're gonna to wanna to select all of the assets here on the right hand side. Make sure that you select carefully just in case you bring in something that you don't want for whatever reason. And something else I would probably do if I were you, I would control click on this column area and I would remove this specific feature right here. It's called keep bus number. This can add a lot of chaos and havoc to your session. So just remove this and you'll thank me later. Number seven, this is gonna be a throwback, but you might want to literally just restart Logic Pro. I want to just turn it off, turn it back on. That sometimes has worked for Logic users in the past. And then maybe as a last resort, you can turn off the computer as a whole and then turn everything back on. And again, maybe that may work, may not, but you got to try it out at the very least. Now, one of the problems that I had with one of the subs here was they weren't sure which plugin was causing the 
corruption within their session. So one of the things that you can do is go into a blank Logic Pro session and you can disable core audio. And then this is going to allow you to perform audio forensics on your session by removing any potential culprits. Now, of course, this is gonna be a trial and error process, but it's definitely worth it. And it may give you exactly what you need. I would probably start with any licensing plugins that you have any subscriptions this may be the first place to start maybe they're just not working because you're not connected to the internet or something anyway start there and hopefully we can get you back up and running number nine auto backups this can also be a lifesaver so always be sure to hit the proverbial key command command s every single time you hit command s when you go into the file menu up here and you scroll down, you can see that you're saving a backup every single time. So even if you're not used to it right now, just every minute or two, just hit Command S and this could definitely be something that covers your butt when you need it. So Command S, auto backups, check that out. That actually may be of great benefit to you. As a last resort, number 10, load a backup last thing that i want to talk to you about when it comes to resuscitating logic pro sessions from the dead is by loading a backup how do you do this you want to find the logic pro session itself depending on where you have them located click on the app so it's in focus hit spacebar after that you could then potentially load a session that is free and clear of any and all problems I hope this video has assisted you in figuring out your Logic Pro issues. If you would like to support the channel, check out the link in the description. We have different ways you can support us. If you would like to book a session with me, please reach out to my team and we will do our best to accommodate you. My goal is to take people to the next level. And so I thank you so much for staying on the up and up. Take good care. I'll talk to you guys next time. Cheers.